everyone wants to be Mr. or Mrs. Fit. It seems like the Jimmy industry is making so much money and everybody joining left, right, front, and center. Everyone wants to have the six packs, banging body, hotness, dripping, dropping it bad. But it seems like it has been taken too far and too much. We see a contestant competing from Eastern Nigeria doing some heavy lifting that has been sent to us by somebody. And we are wondering that truly, is it by force? Or truly, is life truly evil? Because we are confused that should the beauty industry, or rather the modeling industry, cut some slack for some people? Or do they need to actually meet all these criteria, whether by fire or by force? Because we can see that that guy seems to be really, really strong. I'm your host, Marvelous Achafi Kelechi, and I'm always joined by Chimi Rizzi Henry Awunaya in our Toronto studios in Canada. Chimi Rizzi, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mr. This Akeko. is the big fashion. Hmm. Take a look at the videos, guys. We'll be right back. You saw that video, Mr. Nigeria lifting, drip on drip. Timmy, your honest opinions about that. What do you feel? Because I, for example, feel like, you know what? Beauty now has a standard. People should probably be made to meet that standard if they want to compete for a shoe. What do you feel? Um, to be honest, I think we have taken beauty to a next level. We are in an age where character is not what is important. What's important is your facial look, your fashion, your testing fashion. And also, if you have the six packs, the muscles, and the popping out chest, that's the generation we are in. Sadly enough, but at the same time, I think people should learn how to be self-confident. I think people should learn how to believe in themselves. People should learn how to, you know, embrace who they are. And, and that is one thing I love about us Nigerians. No matter where we go to, if we travel abroad or we are in Nigeria, we always embrace our culture. We always know how to embrace ourselves. We always know how to be confident. In this situation, I think this guy should be confident in himself. Everybody has their own beautiful part. Every, everybody has their own side that is beautiful. And I think the competition should not also only be about physical look. The competition should be about critical thinking, intellectual ability, and also creativity. Beauty and beauty pageant should pass beyond, oh, six packs, muscles, face. No, let us see something creative. Does this person have the ability to combine? Can he sew? Is he a designer? Can he, he didn't make the outfit he wore to the beauty pageant? Is this person an outspoken person? You're getting, there are so many criteria to the beauty pageant that needs to be inculcated. Apart from sexual, you know, sexual beauty, what we have now in the beauty pageant is just sexual beauty. We have sexualized the beauty pageant. And all we have are just sexual porn stars, strippers, and, you know, you name it. That's all we have in the beauty pageant. And for this guy, you should not go and kill himself because this is the person that is alive that can run for a pageant. Please don't die lifting something that is bigger than you. They say heaven helps those who help themselves. But this one, I think the weight needs a stronger pillar because the pillar holding him, that foundation will sink. That is what is called a sinking sand because it was remaining for him to start falling inside the floor with that thing he's lifting. So let us be sincere. Don't go do, who sang it? I think it's done. I said, no, go do pass yourself. Don't do pass yourself before you will see Jesus early. Over to you, Mr. Chaffo. It's amazing. In me, just being honest and plain, that's the beauty of the big fashion. The coming, having two seasoned 
presenters, journalists now, as we call ourselves, come and give dissecting opinions. For me, I feel like if you want to showcase your brain, go to Calbepedia or who <laughs> wants to be a millionaire. If you want, Carry on. If you want to showcase your fashion show, go to GTB Fashion Week. I know that one has even become like a masquerade show now because we see some of the designers there. I'm sure you can't pay, you can't make a damn payment for a roasted corn for some of those outfits. <laughs> some outfits looking like masquerade. Even masquerade itself, we never wear that one. Ah. So GT Fashion Week is, or go to GT, or go to Handmaking Fashion Week, or uh, Allies Fashion Week, to go and showcase your fashion show if you want to be a tailor. If you want to be a makeup artist, maybe you should join uh, uh, House of Tara. They are fashion, uh, they are makeup show. Or uh, what's the word? Lush Air. If you are a hair maker too, join Lush Air show. This is in Mr. Nigeria, where they sell beauty, where they sell handsomeness, where they sell banging body, where they send hotness. That's what it's about. I admire his courage, the courage of this guy. Very, very courageous guy. I have to applaud him for even trying to work with him. But it's one thing for you to have a courage. It's another thing for that courage to match up to results. It's like a goat saying you want to go and compete to be king of a jungle. But what if the goat is a high breed goat? If if the goat is the, his mother, the goat's mother is a lioness, and the goat's father is a goat. Okay. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. The guy we saw in that DP, no form of abuse, no form of abuse. Nobody Can shaming him. Yeah. Nobody shaming. Can that guy win a Mister Nigeria pageant? Let's be honest. I, Which, I think see, unless a miracle from heaven happens, we know that that, that is almost it. impossible. Except a miracle from heaven happens. I think the guy started. I think the guy started too late. That is one thing I want to point exactly. out. Exactly. No, that's he what I said. Too you, late. That. you took the words out of my mouth because no matter it's what I talk about that the courage cannot match. That's the word that is courage cannot match the progress. That body I saw needs progress. A lot of work invested. Even me, as I am, I think maybe I will show the picture of my before and after. Even me, even me, see. even me before now, I know what I look at, I know what I look like right now. So it takes time. Carry on. Yeah, like I was saying, that's what I was saying. it takes time. It takes a lot of effort. And when, when, what I saw for me is uh, this one is too late, too late to be too little, too, too late. How they will put it in. Uh, bless the as the novel would say it that whether too little, too late, or too late, too little, that it has to be this thing. Whether we like it or not, there are standards for beauty now. I do not agree with most of them. Going with this, we had the fantastic way, if not for what's the word, beauty with grace. I don't think that uh, what's the word that Bernie Daegu would ever have won. I think that's the only Miss Nigeria to have ever won in this world. I don't even think anybody else would come close. But the only lady to have it, if not for B2B, because of the question she answered, I know it's been many years, but I can never forget the question she was asked, which was if she was in the desert, what were the three things she would need? And she said, I would need my Bible, I would need a blanket, and I would need a, a water, a, 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 what's the word, a bottle of water. And it was very, very fantastic. The wise fact that she could get those three, actually, those were the three things when I talk about it. Those were the three things you need. It was a resounding round of applause. And from then on, I had a 60% chance, that's why being small, that this lady was doing an image. That's why I was very, very little. And she won it because of the brains. If not, it was the missus. What's her name? But that's let's, but let's look that's, at that question critically. Are those the three things you really need in a desert? Those are the three things you need in a desert. Uh, why do you need the Bible in a desert? What are you going to, to use the Bible to, to do? To pray to, to pray to our God. She's trying to tell that she's tapping into. She's part of our religion so, because she so, believes so, that, she so, believes so, that the Bible. Go on, go on. Yeah, carry on. This is not the this is not the day to argue whether you need a Bible or need a condom in the desert. We we'll unpack that for another. I'm just I'm just saying that the critical <laughs> thinking is not as critical as it sounds to me. I don't I don't, I don't <laughs> think those are the reasons you need. Coming from I don't a minister, think that coming from a minister who should applaud that. 
coming for minister, I wish I applaud that. No, the thing is, ignorance sometimes, ignorance, sometimes ignorance is something we need to point out. The Bible says, My people perish because of lack but of knowledge. Mean, I, don't Bible, I, don't Bible, I don't need a Bible, you know I don't need a Bible you know in the days that because I have the word you know of God you know, in me. Hold on. No, Chimera, I have. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Do you know that the, do you know that the Bible returns these affairs? Let me say we'll pack that another day because you are you are a minister. I feel like we should understand that better. Maybe some people feel I understand it better. That's why I want us to intellectually break it. I think I think I I'm coming. That's her and that's too. But for me, I'm just saying I don't think that was the truth. Guys, you are viewers, what do you think are the three things you will need in a desert to survive? Because you need to look logically. Yes, you need a blanket because you know you need a, a shelf. You could use a blanket to make a housing and a shelter for yourself. You need water because you need to stay hydrated. But you don't need a Bible. You know the next thing you need? You need a gun because you need to kill some animals to eat. You will not use your Bible to keep animals. Your Bible should be animal in the desert. Your faith should be used. Desert is true with you snake and scorpions. Yes, you use the gun. You use the gun to kill the rattlesnake. And what do you eat snakes? Poisonous. You remove the poison and you eat the skin. This your logic is not logic. But let's unpack that for another day. Okay, let's go. Let's unpack. We will unpack that. For another day. So as we were saying earlier, before, because we are about to, what's the word, get into this thing. Like I said earlier, for me, I just feel like the modern standards of beauty, the criteria has been set already. It keeps on climbing. And whether we like it or not, exercise is a very, very fantastic thing for the body. It's not going to be, it's not very, very easy. It is very, very hard. Going where the days were before, I always feel like, oh, when people that are good looking, or the exercise, win things. I'll be like, oh, oh don't they look beyond the beauty? Don't they look beyond the exercise? Forget all this. It's being partial. It's being superficial. But when I started to exercise, in order to truly, it is it causes a lot of pain. The pain it causes the mental this thing, the stress, the fact that you have to be in a good frame of mind to even exercise every day. It's something that is fantastic. But some days you feel so lazy. Some days you feel disappointed. Some days you feel what's the word? If not in a good mood, some days you feel downcast for the mindset to even keep but on going. How about the people Something that exercise are not exercising for all of that? We know why most people exercise is for sexual. I'm not talking nudity. about the reasons why we exercise. I didn't say the reasons. You don't understand. You I know. Just being out and you are bringing out an euphoria <laughs> when none is needed. You love to label you people names, it. name callers. When people disagree with you, you yeah. just put a label on them. Sometimes yeah. learn to be open-minded and stop labeling people. I, I only say we know that half of the people that go to the gym are not going there because they want to exercise or they are committed. They are going there because they want to have six packs to put on their dating apps. They want to have new pictures to send on their dating app. Let's be honest. One thing that makes the breakfast show very unique is that we go straight to the point and hit the head. Half of the people there are going to the gym because they have a small yash. They want a bigger yash. Jesus. You see, the truth has come out. Let's just call the spade a spade. Let Thank me, you, darling. Let me, let me not talk. Let me not talk. But, Timmy is a carry on. You're fine. Hey, why did you start going, going to the gym? Happen. Why did you start, before we call it a rap, why did you start going to the gym? You say before no, you used to look, you used to look no, outside, you used to look outside that, but now since you started, will, why did you go to the gym? Was it peer pressure that answer, made you go to the gym? Was it because you wanted to start taking a, a, a sexually exclusive photography? Why did you start going to the gym? Or did your ex tell you that did your ex your leave you for somebody that was more, you know, puffy? That is why you started going to the I gym. Will, I will answer your question. Thank you. Say so your final words before we call it a wrap. My final words is one thing that the one thing that you should do is go to the gym. The gym is very, very important. Like you don't need to literally go to the gym, 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 but try to exercise your body because this is one thing that you live through life with. And if your body ain't healthy, 
then every other thing in your life wouldn't be healthy. Secondly, you know the gym is not the only thing to exercise. Exercise also your mental, intellectual capacity. Because most of the people these days are forgetting to do, even taking a little quiz, you know, when you do the pauses and stuff, try to also mentally exercise your critical thinking. We have so many people who are cute and then in their brain there is nothing. You begin to wonder if it's cobwebs and, and spiders living there need to challenge your brains so that at the end of the whole day you become a beauty with brains again the gym is very important one thing kelechi says and i'm going to point out and emphasize is that commitment commitment when people go to the gym and they have this uh, routine they stay committed to it have something you're committed to if you're not committed to the gym be committed to your faith. If you're not committed to your faith, be committed in one aspect of your life and become a master of that aspect of your life. You're getting. And also, also learn to have self-confidence. Self-confidence is needed for the next generation. The next generation, if you cannot talk, if you cannot speak, you find yourself being marginalized and being used. So apart from the gym, apart from critical thinking, also begin to learn our public speaking and self-confidence learn to speak out for yourself i see a lot of people they look very puff they look very strong but they have no self-confidence you tell them oh look at your eyes your eyes look somewhere tomorrow they are running to the doctors to go to see how to fix their eye you tell them oh look at your teeth your teeth look crooked they are running to the doctor to fix that crooked thing learn self-love and care mm, well, that's that was a very very good and fantastic one and what is it to wrap up the show so in answering Timothy, do you want me to answer the question? Yes, please. We want to know why you started going to the gym. <clears throat> okay. The reason why I started going to the gym was when I saw Timothy's stomach, and I don't want my own to be like that. <laughs> that's been our ugly boy. The real passion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To next episode. <laughs> 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 <laughs>